at the gallery right now, Jonathan, we talked about that a little bit, but we have two of your paintings and you did make animations very much related to those two paintings. And I think you said that typically they are not exhibited together. So we did something a little different. It, it is interesting when visitors come in and kind of look from one to the other, you know, which may not be what you're after. You know, they're two different things, but. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of like, uh, um, showing how you pulled the old rabbit out of the hat uh, or something like that. You know, it's, I thought it was really an interesting idea uh, and I loved it when I saw it. So I'm glad that we did that. Um, and I think that's the first time uh, that an animated painting uh, has come directly from one painting. The other animated paintings that I've done come from multiple paintings just to uh, make enough content, you know, to actually have something to show. Mm -hmm. Um, but those paintings, uh, I'm, tr you know, I'm kind of, uh, I guess with my process, I'm trying to make more, um, uh, things happen inside the composition. So those paintings in particular sort of lent themselves to just having more moving parts and they were just kind of fine on their own. But, uh, yeah, I think, uh, you know, as far as, um, the storytelling that goes behind that it's uh it's I, I think it's safe to say that uh the reason why i sometimes leap from painting to animation is because like i said i get bored um i love painting i always thought that i would just be you know only a painter uh that didn't last very long i got into filmmaking um and uh you know we i early on i did some uh linear storytelling <clears throat> which, uh, you know, I, I quickly thought, you know, these need to kind of go into more abstract form. And uh, I think um, the process is beginning to uh, get kind of boring for me again, so to speak. So I kind of want to take those two tool sets and then just this year take some time to figure out um, how I can merge them even more efficiently uh, or more interestingly um, you know, what kind of paint can I use that will look better when it goes into an animation? I don't even know if that's a thing, but, uh, you know, I just kind of want to try it out and just keep experimenting, um, and then just see, you know, how I can, uh, kind of take, I guess, that bridge between, uh, canvas painting, which is, you know, it's an old school process. It's, you know, the master's. Michelangelo, all those guys, you know, and this new school process that we all have, I think, you know, like 3D printing is uh, for me something that's new. You know, I tried 3D printing on a recent project and uh, I'd have to say it's really exciting.